Former five-star running back Stephen Carr will try to fulfill his vast potential somewhere other than USC. Welcome to the Voice of College Football, USC, as uh, our friends over at uh, uscfootball.com and Keely Yore in particular announced and first reported that uh, Stephen Carr has entered the transfer portal, and then he made it official on Tuesday. Running back coach Mike Jinks painted the picture a number of times in speaking with the LA Times and um, and then having it confirmed a number of times during spring practice what his plan was for the running back position at USC. That they had three to four guys in the mix, but that they would not play three to four guys consistently in the backfield. He wanted two guys to get the reps. And so five-star running back Stephen Carr who was the number three rated running back in the country coming out of Fontana, California in 2017, according to the 247 Sports Composite. He heads to the transfer portal. Okay. In 2017, he ran for 363 yards, 5.6 per carry, caught 17 passes, scored three touchdowns. Uh, Then the next season, another nice season, 384 yards, 4.7 per carry, two touchdowns. 2019, his best season at five and a half yards per carry and five touchdowns. He caught 22 out of the backfield, and that was the first year of the air raid offense under Graham Harrell. And then in 2020, only 176 yards. Of course, the season was only six games long, but he only went for 3.8 yards per carry. So Stephen Carr actually, with those 35 games played for USC, six starting, his second game out of those 35, his second career game, he rushed for 119 yards against Stanford on only 10 carries, a buck 19 against the Cardinal in 2017, a team that was at the top of their game in the Pac-12. And then Stephen Carr never ran for 100 yards again. His high game after that Stanford effort, 94 yards a couple seasons later against Washington in 2019. Okay, the USC backfield without Carr stacks up like this. Keontae Ingram the transfer from Texas who rushed for over 1,800 yards at Texas, uh, caught 67 passes, scored 17 touchdowns. He, of course, will be prominently in this competition along with uh, Vave Malapai, who ran for 238 yards last season to lead USC, three touchdowns. Keenan Christen, the 30th rated running back in the nation coming out of high school in 2019, a top 50 prospect in California. Brandon Campbell, early enrollee, 2021 class out of Katy, Texas, top 50 prospect in the Lone Star State, number 16 running back. Those are the four main guys without Carr. There is some speculation, as it was cited in particular on 247 Sports, that maybe Carr goes to Indiana because his uh, position coach there, Dylan McCullough, who recruited and signed him and then coached him in 2017. He's now the running backs coach and replacing Mike Hart at uh, Indiana University. And keep in mind, of course, uh, USC now loses its second to running back this offseason as Marquis Stepp transferred to Nebraska. All right, your thoughts on Stephen Carr, USC's crowded running back room of four candidates headed toward August camp right here at the Voice of College Football, USC.